and we're going to talk about um, what run-ons and fragments are and how you can avoid them. And after this video, you are going to take a video quiz which will help you start to think about and get better at avoiding run-ons and fragments. So I'm just going to follow along on the handout. I'm going to read it aloud with a little bit of commentary. So there are some myths about run-ons and fragments, and um, this first bullet point here says that this may come as a big shock, but a new sentence does not necessarily start when you start a new idea. So run-ons and fragments happen because it's a grammatical construct. Um, basically, you are going to need to learn the grammar in order to know where one sentence starts and another one begins. So here's another myth that people often have. A run-on sentence is not a sentence that is simply too long. So you can have a sentence that goes on for the whole length of a book, or you may have a sentence that is just um, a couple of words, and that can be correct. So it's not just looking and saying in your essay, hey, I have some long sentences, they must be run-on, or I'm talking too much, I must have run-on sentences. No, that's not it either. Um, and so basically, um, just to reiterate, they're not errors in style or flow. It's totally a grammatical concept. Okay, so if you have a run-on or fragment, it means you've made a sentence boundary error, and it means you don't know where one sentence begins and the other ends, or maybe you stopped a sentence too early. And I've devised a method that is um, intended to help you avoid run-ons and fragments, and it also is a little bit unconventional. So I'm not going to be using all the grammatical terms that you may have had in high school or middle school. And this is because I want you to get you to this a little bit faster. But if you're an English major, if you plan to be an English teacher, you can ask me for those terms and I can help you in my office or over um, a, a chat conversation. So however you would like to learn this information, you let me know. But hopefully over the years I found that this is a pretty good method. Okay. So what we have here is a CVS pharmacy, and in fact, it's the CVS pharmacy that is on 18th Street, uh, 18th and Chestnut in Philadelphia. And CVS is an acronym that I like to use to help people to know what's in a sentence. So in a sentence, you have a complete thought, that's the C, a verb, that's the V, and a subject, that's the S. So what makes up a complete sentence is a complete thought, a verb, and a subject, okay? Those are the parts of a sentence. There's three parts. Complete thought means you've said the entire thought, someone would understand what you're talking about. A verb, that's the action word or state of being, right? And then the subject is what's doing or being the verb. So when you have a sentence fragment, you're missing one of the three. It's like a broken down CVS sign. You go into the city and you're like, oh my gosh, that sign looks broken down. Well, that's what a sentence fragment is. You're missing a C, a V, or an S, okay? If you have a run-on sentence, it's where you have two complete thought verbs and subjects that are smushed next to each other, and they don't have the appropriate punctuation. So if you have that, if you have two CVSs in Philadelphia that they're right next to each other, they can take away business from each other, which is just like with your sentences. If you've got two complete thought verb subjects smushed together, it means you're not giving enough space to your individual sentences. Okay, so here are the most basic ways to fix these errors when they when you find them. Okay, so to fix a sentence fragment, you're going to add what's missing to com a complete thought, a subject, or a verb. You're going to add the C, the V, or the S. You're going to repair that sign on the CBS, um, and you're going to update your punctuation. To fix a run-on sentence, you're going to add a comma and a conjunction, uh, a semicolon or a period, and a capital letter. So your comma and conjunction, a semicolon, so colon or a period in a capital letter. So just to show you what those are, a comma looks like that. Um, you can add um, comma and, or you can add a semicolon. That's what that looks like. Okay, so we'll erase those, just so you know. So here are some examples. Here's a run on. Mary is such a good dancer, I admire her so much. So what, a good thing to do is to identify the parts of this sentence. So the first part, we have the subject, okay, and our subject is Mary, 
And what is Mary doing or being? Mary is, okay? So Mary is. And then what? The complete thought is such a good dancer, okay? So that's a complete, a whole CVS. That's a complete thought, verb, and subject that exists there in this um, sentence, okay? But then what you have is another one. So you have another subject, and that is going to be the I, okay? And what's the I being or doing? It's admiring. So I admire her so much. Now, so you're in trouble, right? Because you've got two complete thought verbs and subjects that are smushed together without the right punctuation. See here, this is not a semicolon. It's not a comma and a conjunction and it's not a period and a capital. So this is a run on sentence because of that. So a way to fix it is to put a period between dancer and I. Mary is such a good dancer. That's one CVS, one complete thought verb subject or one sentence. And then you have another one, I admire her so much. Okay, so another example here is a fragment, okay? So, um, Here's two sentences together. You made extra pasta, which was a good idea. Okay, so both of these have to be able to stand alone, and right now they're not. You made extra pasta is doing just fine. So you is the subject. So let's do that again. We're going to highlight you. You here. Okay. And then the verb is made. So we're going to use our green again. Made. And then what? extra pasta. That's the complete thought. Okay, now we're about to see one that's not a complete thought. Which was a good idea? So if you don't have this other information, right, that you made extra pasta, if you went up to someone and said, which was a good idea, they're not going to know what you're talking about. Okay, so that's not a complete thought. That's missing the C in the CBS sign. So a way to fix it is to combine the two sentence, the two uh, parts, right? They're not sentences because the second one's a fragment. So you made extra pasta, comma, which was a good idea. So now you have a correct sentence, okay? So um, at this point, right now, if we look down, we've got the next article. So this is all I need to tell you right now about um, fixing run-ons and fragments. So I'm going to give you a video quiz. Feel free to watch this video again if you uh, would like to before taking the video quiz. Or feel free to contact me if you have further questions about creating full sentences that are not run-ons or fragments.